How can image one be different from image two? Can you identify three ways to differentiate the clocks? Observation one, different location. One way is the positioning of each clock. For example, if we use a Cartesian plane, you can see the clocks are at two different coordinates. Observation two, different time. Another way could be different times. For example, one clock could be set to 12 a.m. And the other clock could be set to 12 p.m. Observation three, different time zones. We will use the time zones to uncover the difference between each clock. Obviously, if one clock is in a different time zone, then the other clock should have a different time. However, in this example, both clocks are in the same location. In fact, they are only five inches apart. Same location, same time zone. How could they be different? One way is to, to divide the current time zone into smaller increments. In other words, it's just a matter of increasing the precision of a time zone. As an example, the clocks are in a city close to the equator. The width of a time zone near the equator is, is roughly 1,035 miles. So we want to cut up or divide a time zone into 1,000 parts. But each 1,000th of a time zone or a milli time zone is 1.035 miles in width. That is not precise enough. Next, we divide the time zone into 1 million parts, which equals 5.5 feet. So we are getting closer to having our clocks in two different time zones when they are five inches apart. But currently our micro time zones are still too wide for our situation. Instead, let's divide 1,035 miles, our time zone, by one billion. Now we have nano time zones. Our time zone is sliced up into one billion parts. Each nano time zone is equal to 0 0.06558 inches. Now, if the clocks are five inches apart, then they are roughly 76 nano time zones apart, which may seem like a lot, but it is 76 parts out of 1 billion. But how would you count the difference in time between two nano time zones? You could use nanoseconds, picoseconds, or even seconds. It depends on how you want to position the decimal point. Or 
create another system of time based on base 240 or base 120. Observation four, as a bonus, a fourth way to differentiate the images is to identify that they are labeled differently, such as image one and image two. Are there more possibilities? Yes.